as a coach, it's important to develop a motivational climate. So what is a motivational climate? A motivational climate is the environment that you place the athlete in. So, for instance, if you're a coach that's focused on development and does that through teaching, sharing, building teamwork, cooperation, then it's likely to have a positive impact on the motivational climate. However, if you're somebody who's focused on outcome, like you're looking at the end goal, and if you don't perform, there'll be repercussions of that, you might be dropped from the team, etc., then that might have a negative impact on the motivational climate because athletes are thinking about the failure and not the development. Um, and there is um, a way of, uh, or a, an acronym that helps you develop um, a motivational climate, and it's talked about, it's, it's TARGET, so T-A-R-G-E-T, -E and the first one's TASK. So they talk about having a range of tasks that require the athlete to actively participate in um, learning and making decisions to develop them. Okay. Then the next one's authority, and that's giving the athletes authority over monitoring and evaluating their own learning and, um, and decision making. Um, so actually they're learning from themselves. Then there's reward, um, so giving athletes um, rewards that are focused on the individual improvements rather than comparing them to others or the actual end results. So you focus on what they're doing and how they're developing, um, and you reinforce that with rewards. Then the, the G is grouping, um, so giving the athletes op the opportunity to work in groups so that they can develop skills in groups and share kind of best practice within within those groups. Then we've got the E, which is evaluation, so it's focusing on the individual's efforts and improvement and looking at you know, where have they improved, where is there still areas for development, and really presenting that in a way that the athlete understands this is where they've got better and this is still an area where they can continue to develop. And then there's timing, um, timing the activity effectively so that all of the above conditions can interact effectively um, and that actually you give sufficient time. It's not like, okay, by this time next week, if it's something that needs time to develop and it needs to be monitored over time, then you give that time as a coach so that the athlete has a chance to develop effectively.